Welcome back, my loves. And in this video, I am going to be talking to you about becoming the woman who is worshipped. And it might not be what you think, or maybe it is. I guess we'll see. And also, hi, everyone. It is I, Pamela, aka the Awakened Aphrodite. I'm here to help you explode your bank account and your love life. <laughs> by teaching you my own methodology, feminine dominance, as well as deep rewiring everlasting hypnosis so that you begin to think like the person who has the things that you desire and then they just kind of magically show up because you are that person. You become that person. Of course, you have to have what that person has Two, that is how this works. If you are desiring to join the art of feminine dominance, which is exactly how to create real polarity, not, you know, the faux polarity teachings that you see, real polarity that will have men and money, because these are things that we are taught hold the power in our world, right? The masculine. We are taught that they hold the power. We are taught that they are the dominant pole. When you are taught how, when you learn how to access your dominance, which is what I'm going to teach you, while maintaining your feminine energy, this is where men melt in the best way into their hearts for you, with you, okay? And money just starts to show up. It's way easier to ask for more money. Like second nature, of course, it's more right? You begin to charge higher fees in, in what you do in business. And for the next 24 hours, you will save a significant amount of money. The price is going to go way up. And we begin on November the 21st, 12 weeks with me live, you'll get to ask me your questions live. And you'll have weekly modules and teachings as well, and a Facebook group. So click the link below or send me an email, Pamela at theawakenedaphrodite.com or DM me on, in, on Instagram at theawakenedaphrodite and we will get you all set up. You can also upgrade to the Quantum Queen's Mistress Mind where you, where you will have monthly one-on-one, dedicated one-on-one calls with me. You'll have weekly group one-on-one calls and bi-weekly hot seats, coaching hot seats, plus daily Voxer access to me. It is next level. This is all about quantum leaping, instant manifestations, and becoming that woman that just wills things into existence, the big things. <laughs> okay, so, and you can DM me or email me for more information. That begins on November the 20th. Oh my goodness. Make sure that you are set up for 2024, my loves. And I'm here to help you with that. So becoming a woman who is worshipped. Before I get into it, I want to sort of break it down to shift your perception because that's really going to help you access what I'm talking about. And also make sure that you watch this video to the end. Like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me. Send it to a friend who needs it. You know which friend. <laughs> so when I talk about becoming or being worshipped by a man, I don't want you to think about this context, right? This, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but that sort of toxic, like, oh my God, he's giving me everything and I'm giving him nothing, right? That is not what I teach. I don't teach, this isn't about manipulation. This isn't about transactional relationships um, because that stuff actually comes from insecurity, okay? Wanting to get the most and give the least from that egoic sense, that comes from a place of deep insecurity more often than not, and maybe something else that is not ideal. What we want and what we're doing and what we are creating is transcendental love and relationships. We are creating 
next level intimacy, the kind of intimacy that most people will never experience. And a lot of this is influenced by tantric teachings um, and, and various Taoist teachings as well, as, uh, as well as it's late, you guys. Oh my God, it's like almost midnight and I, <laughs> I got to get this video out. So if I'm stumbling over my words a bit, that's why I'm like, oh my God, bright light, midnight. Ah! <laughs> um, as well as Taoist teachings. The goal here is really depth. So when I say worshipped, I don't mean at the expense of someone else. I mean in this depth, in this intertwining of mutual servitude that leads you to the kind of intimacy that is like a transcendental experience in the best of ways, in the healthiest of ways, right? It's safe. It's consensual, it's supportive, it's grounded, it's secure. Maybe it's even a little boring on the surface, right? Maybe you're dating someone or you meet someone who seemingly the most exciting and yet <laughs> the excitement is to come where you are the one who crafts this kind of depth and intimacy that, again, most people will never experience in a lifetime. And everybody wants to, because the only place that we can have these transcendental experiences where we can see God, okay, in form, in, in a in a an altered state sort of way. You understand what I mean, right? Comment below if you know what I mean by that. An altered state, not just you're having this experience, you're having this deep, vulnerable experience with another person, right? And in that, it's like you see God. That comes from a very particular kind of polarity, okay? That doesn't just come from masculine and feminine polarity, which is can also be a beautiful thing to play with. This comes from accentuating polarity, which also, um, well, first you need safety. You need safety. So what does safety mean? And then I'm going to explain a little bit more about the worship piece. So what does safety mean? Safety means that both parties or all parties involved know that they can say anything to the other person. They can be messy as long as they're not being actively harmful or hurtful because that's something else, right? They can be messy. They can mess it up. They can be awkward. They can say a really uncomfortable thing. And yet the other person is going to hold them, love them, and let them know that it's a safe space for them to really be all of themselves, all of yourself, okay? When you are able to gift that to another person, a healthy person, okay? This is the key. If you gift this to a person that is not particularly caring or healthy, they may or may not appreciate this, okay? If you gift this to a person who is loving, caring, powerful, they, they want to experience next level love, they will melt, okay? I want to give you an example. And then we'll move into the worship piece. I keep saying that. I'm like, oh, we'll get to the worship. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I came, I saw, I worshiped. <laughs> so, so I want to give you an example to, to help you understand this. I want you to imagine that you've had this problem okay I've had this with so many clients by the way you've had this problem forever okay it doesn't even have to be a big problem just something that you can't seem to let go of so here's a good one driving anxiety I mean it's not it doesn't seem that big that's something that I've personally struggled with in my life and it doesn't seem that big and yet that's something that really affects your life even though it, it doesn't seem on the surface like a massive thing. 
You've gone to see many, many, many people and no one's been able to help you. No one's been able to truly see you, feel you and understand you. I have this experience with clients all the time where they tell me, Pamela, I've been in therapy for 10 years. Like what? And I feel like I finally get it now. Thank you. Right. Or I've worked with wealth coaches, money coaches, love coaches, and none of them got it. None of them got me. And you do. Right. That is that is a kind of intimacy that most people will never experience. And I, I mean, intimacy in terms of feeling seen and felt and heard to a degree that that person is not used to that people generally are not used to. Okay, I can even say this for myself. I've worked with the best of the best and the, of the best of the best in the industry um, as a client and also as a mentor, mentoring people. And as a client, on the client end, uh, you know, my biggest struggle was always finding people to work with, right? It's like, well, who do you work with when you're at the top of your field? So I want to relate this back to now relationships. We are talking about powerful people with powerful people, okay? Powerful people with powerful people. When you are an emotionally um strong, capable, powerful person, when maybe you're the kind of person who's used to holding it all, or they are, right? And then no one can hold you. So this is the experience that a lot of people have. I've had this experience, right? I don't think that this is a gendered thing. And for the purpose of this conversation, this is the predominant experience that men have in their relationships with women, okay, with women. I can't express myself. If I express myself, she won't be able to hold it. Um, you know, I, it's not, basically, it's not safe for me to express myself. So if a man does not feel safe enough to express himself, which I also want to say, as women, this is so tricky, right? We are taught to be on the lookout. We are taught to be like, oh my God, do I look fat in this dress? Like, um, have I lost too much weight? Have I gained too much weight? Am I perfect enough? Am I good enough? All of these crazy things, right? Um, but did I say that well enough? Am I wife enough material? I mean, as women, we are taught to nitpick ourselves and be on the alert for any sort of danger, okay? Any sort of sign that he might not be in. Oh my God, danger, we need to go, right? So a man telling us, hey, to be honest, I need I need to speak to you about something. Um, I don't know if I, if I, how I feel about our connection, for example. How could you not spin out if a guy says that to you, right? How could you not go, oh my God. And and I also want you to know, you can't mess this up. You get to be human. Um, I, I make mistakes all of the time. I don't want you to think that I'm sitting here teaching you things where you have to be this perfect, like, yes, this is exactly how it is and how we will do it, perfection have a good evening, right? And absolutely not. You get to be human. You get to be messy. Again, I am. <laughs> I am. And I want to encourage you to be as well, because this is how you learn. As long as you're honoring yourself and your truth, and you're just doing your best to, to do better, to be more loving, to, to listen deeper, to be more honoring of self, of others, so on and so forth, Right then you're doing a really good job. I want you to notice that. Also celebrate yourself below. Have you have been having hard conversations lately? Have you been asking for things recently that you wouldn't normally ask for? I want to know. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Let us celebrate you, okay? Because it's so important. And to bring it back, 
as women, we are taught to be on the lookout for these things. Oh my God, he just said that uh, he's not 100% sure what he's looking for. <laughs> right? Alert, alert, alert. Don't give him your body. That's dangerous. Like all of these things, which can be valid and relevant. And also sometimes a man is just saying stuff right? He's just saying stuff. It's, have you ever felt as a woman now I'm, I'm like, oh my God, I hope there's no men watching this, but of course there are. And we love you. And thank you for watching this. Actually, why don't you share your experiences of this below and help the women watching this that I would really appreciate that. We all would. Thank you. Thank you. Um, have you ever had a moment with a man where you literally think, did he hear himself? Right? Like, did he hear what he just said? Right? As women, and I'm sure, you know, as women, we have these experiences often with men because, and this is a whole other conversation, we think we are taught to express very differently, generally speaking. Okay. And as women, we can take things so personally. And, and we are taught to do that as in some ways a survival mechanism so that we don't get hurt, so that we don't um, date the wrong person and invest ourselves and our resources in with the wrong person, right? And unfortunately, being on the edge prevents you from being worshipped. If you're like, where's the worship? Like, I love you, Pamela. Where's the worship? You're talking about love. You're talking about <laughs> I want the good stuff. I want the good stuff. It's all good stuff, okay? It's all good. You want it all, trust me. So you cannot be worshipped by a man when you are on edge. You cannot, okay? There, there is no way, maybe at first, maybe for five minutes, but there is no way that you are ever going to be worshiped by a man or anyone for that matter when you are on edge why because you don't feel safe they're not going to feel safe and here's the thing that you need to understand about men i i think i've I, for sure i've said this before i say this all of the time inside of my paid containers which if you love my videos if you resonate with what i'm saying oh my god we go so deep. In, there's so much I cannot say on YouTube, okay? There's so much I cannot say on Instagram. There's so much I just cannot say. There's so much I can't even say in a lot of my free stuff. And it's here to to get you going, okay? To get you going, to spark some, some revelations and shift you. And if you really resonate with my work, please find out how you can work with me. I have um, group programs. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have the mistress mind. If you, and this is all for women. And if you are a man, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I do actually work with men. I have male clients as well. So if you don't feel safe, he's not going to feel safe. And here is every man's problem in relationships. They're terrified, right? Men are terrified of us. They are terrified of us. And then we are shown these things like, oh, be cold and detached and he's going to fall in love with you. No, he's terrified and he's pandering to you. And you do not want to be with a man who is, who is genuinely terrified of you, okay? There's a difference between having a little like joke and understanding like, okay, babe, I love you. You terrify me. As a as a sign of sort of, you know how it is when you're just joking back and forth and it's this like, they just, they they know. They know, right? That's that's not the same as, as this persona of being cold, detached, disconnected. And here you have a man that is now um, not worshiping you, pandering to you from a place of fear. And that's toxic. You don't want that. Okay. It's not healthy. It's not, it's not fulfilling. Again, 
that is coming from a place that's driven from insecurity. Rather, when you inspire a man to genuinely be in awe of you, to genuinely worship the ground that you walk on, like, you, you are my angel. Where did you come from? I mean, you could have only come from one place, the heaven, right? You see me, you feel me, you understand me in a way that I've never been felt or seen or understood or loved. And this does not come from doing. It comes from your being. It comes from your presence. And not the presence, which is a beautiful part of the feminine expression, but the the dropped in, the open heart, the them, the them, the them, heart beating, strong, powerful. Come here, come here, presence, right? And the thing about worship is that it's mutual. It's mutual. You are worshiping them too. It might look a little bit different, okay? Depending on both of your preferences and what makes you feel loved, what makes you feel seen and heard and, and felt and alive, they, they might desire things that you don't really care for and vice versa. This is mutual worship. This is this is love in harmony. This is this is true divine union, okay? And you can only have that when you are truly a safe space for their uh what might be uncomfortable expression. Again, healthy uncom but might feel uncomfortable to hold, to be with. And then it's, what do I say? Okay, I can hold this, but now what do I say? And this is exactly what I teach you inside of the art of feminine dominance. And what I will tell you is just here and now, don't make it about you. Whatever he says to you, it does not matter what he says. Again, healthy, right? Healthy relationships. Get curious about his experience instead of making it about you. Oh my God, he said this. This means he doesn't want to be with me. Maybe, maybe you just had a bad day. Maybe he misunderstood something that you said. When you are the woman that is unshakable in anything that he could bring you, and I want to take this to the manifestation level. When you are the woman who is unshakable in anything that he right? <laughs> the 3D, your world could show you you're the most powerful woman, you're the most powerful person in anywhere, any room that you enter, right? You understand that, first of all, you created the room that you enter, firstly. And so naturally, of course you are. And metaphorically, right? You're the most powerful woman in any room that you enter because you are truly unshakable. You see everything as something, as information versus fact. And you decide what then becomes fact and what you are going to put your focus and attention and energy into. That is power because your focus and attention is life force energy. What you put your focus and attention into grows. And this kind of presence and seeing and feeling, again, is something that most people will never experience. When you know how to gift this to another, they can't help but want to deepen your relationship. Because it's truly a gift. And guess what? You want to experience this too. And you can only experience this once you start to give it to yourself. When you become her, it will be reflected back to you. So what questions do you have about what I've said in this video? I feel like this is another one of those videos where I've sort of 
um, super casual, gone a little bit all over the place. And I'm curious, I loved it. What is your experience of this sort of style of video? Where I basically come in here and riff. Do you love it? Do you like it? Or do you prefer when I have sort of a set? Well, come on, let's be real. When do I ever have a set? Sort of like, I do so I have in the past. I will say that I have in the past. I'm curious. I want to hear your feedback below. And if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one or join the upcoming Mistress Mind or join the Art of Feminine Dominance and save $500 in the next 24 hours, then click below or send me a message on Instagram at the Awakened Aphrodite or email me Pamela at theawakenedaphrodite.com or go to theawakenedaphrodite.com and you know whether it's day or night. Thank you so much for watching and I love you. I love you. I love you. Now go let yourself be worshipped. You deserve it.